Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back today. Not opening packs, but showing you kind of what I've collected over the last, I don't know, six months or a year uh, with regard to one player, and that is right here, Mike Schmidt. He is what many people believe to be the greatest third baseman to ever play the game in the bigs. Let me just run down a few things before we get into the cards. Played for the Phillies in his entire career. I think it was like something like 18 seasons or something like that. Um, career batting average 267, which is not that impressive, but 2,234 hits, so pretty good there. 548 home runs um, and 1,595 RBIs. Uh, to boot, 12-time All-Star. Actually won the World Series for the Phillies in 1980. Um, one of the things that, you know, being in Philadelphia for as many years as I was, uh, everybody loved Mike Schmidt. Three, time, three times nationally MVP, which is re remarkable, um, as well as the Super Bowl, uh, the World Series MVP, 10-time Gold Glove Award winner, six-time Silver Slug Award, eight-time National League Home Run Leader, four-time National League RBI Leader, um, and obviously in the uh, Hall of Fame for Major League Baseball. So I'm going to run through a few of the cards. We'll start off with the uh, kind of obvious gen general ones. i got some 1989 score here. This is right at the end of his career. You can see a lot of his numbers there adding up to what we just talked about. This is, uh, I think, the second to last year. Uh, here's 1990 Donruss, all-time great. This is his last, his last card, I think. Yes, yes it is. So see those career stats on the back of that one. Here's an 89 Fleer. Here is an 89 Tops. And you can see the coloring differences on these two. Just how different. The one on the left is from the factory set I just opened. The one on the right is, I think, from a pack. Both of them in really good shape. Both of them really good center cuts. Um, there's just some ink coloring differences on those. Look at all those years for the Phillies. Awesome stuff there. Uh, as well as his team leader's card from that same set and same year. Uh, I've also got 1988 Fleer Star Stickers. Fun little oddball set. Of course, you could peel those off and put them in your sticker book. I've got a 1989 Sport Flick. So you can see the stages here. It's two, uh, one close-up shot and then two pictures of him kind of swinging. This is actually one of the better Sports Flicks um, designs because they actually have name and team and uh, position. Most of them on the front in previous years did not have any of that information. I have a lot of 88 score, just the way it goes. Not only have I opened a lot of packs from that, but his card seems to come up a lot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, plus two 1987 highlights for him. Let's see, I'll show you the back of that too, in case you were wondering. And the highlight, which is him hitting 500 home runs. All right. Then we got the 88 Donruss I just started off with to show you guys. Plus, we've got 88 tops. So we've got three 88 tops there of his base cards, as well as his team leaders, him crouching down there. That's him, right? Yeah, that's, that's him. I said it could be Lance Parrish. Every once in a while, those guys look locked with their mustache. But then we've got 88 Tops Big Baseball, which is a cool set, except for the fact that it's too big for everything. <laughs> and so it's kind of obnoxious. Um, so if you got one of those collectors who like to put them in sleeves or in cases or in, um, you know, the nine pocket holders and binders like I am, these are terrible because they all end up getting smushed. Uh, going backwards in time to 1987, I've got two All-Stars from 87 as well as his base card there. Electric trains are among his hobbies, which is an interesting tidbit uh, for Tops there to, to mention that. And he led the lead in home runs in 86 with 37. We've also got three from 1987 Sports Flicks. Let's run down these. This is his actual base card. From that year. You can see again three different views of him. 
Then we have, this is with uh, best in baseball third baseman. So Mike Schmidt, Chris Brown, and Tim Wallach. So there's, there's uh, Chris Brown, there's Tim Wallach, there's Mike Schmidt. And outstanding feats by baseball's top players. It's 1986 season highlights. Mike Schmidt sets the homer mark. Don Sutton wins 300 games. And Jim Deshaies strikes out the first eight. So, you can see there is Mike Schmidt, Don Sutton, and Jim Deshaies. Moving right along, we've got 1987 Fleer Record Setters, which is a kind of a subset, and, a, and it didn't even come in the packs. You have to buy this as a separate set, standalone 35 or 44, so limited edition on that one, as well as his base card from 87 Fleer. And I don't typically have a lot of these cards in my uh, collection, so it's always nice to see 87 Fleer. I think I just pulled that out of a pack. And the 87 Fleer Mini. So you can see the size differential in these cards here. I got this uh, mini set, which was really kind of a cool one. And these different pictures are completely different cards. Um, same vein, 1986 Fleer Mini, same size. So a lot of people probably didn't have never seen these two cards before. Um, had 11th 30 homer season in 1985. Only Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, and Jimmy Fox had more, so that's pretty phenomenal. That's why he's known as one of the best ever. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, 1986 league, major league leaders. These are mini glossy cards from Tops. They're bigger than the Fleer minis, but they are mini nonetheless. So there are those. And finally, we've got the opposite of that, which is the Tops Super Deluxe Giant cards. This is 1984 Tops, and it is essentially the size of of four cards together. So I, I have to actually put it down on the table so you can even see the whole thing. So if we were to put four cards here, that's how you get to the side of this ultra giant, huge, mega 84 tops card. So there you have it, Mike Schmidt, um, certainly a hero in, in the Philadelphia area, one of the greatest third basemen of all time, Hall of Famer. I'm gonna see if I can find a good home for this collection. Uh, so let me know if he's one of your guys and I'll see what I can do. But, uh, you know, it's fun to, fun to pull these out of packs and then have this nice little collection to show you guys. I'll see you next time.